To all our new listeners from St. Anne Church in Iowa, where I just finished a parish mission, welcome to the God Minute. And for the rest of us joined in prayer across the globe, in the words of Sister Sledge, we are family. And how nice it is to be together. Thank you for joining us. the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. O Lord, open my lips, and my mouth shall declare your praise. Psalm 96. Sing a new song. Our short gospel passage comes to us from the Gospel of St. Luke, chapter 13, verses 18 to 19. Jesus said, What is the kingdom of God like? To what can I compare it? It is like a mustard seed that a man took and planted in the garden. When it was fully grown, it became a large bush, and the birds of the sky dwelt in its branches. The Word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Three weeks ago, I asked you the question, how is your balance? Today, our gospel image prompts me to ask you, how is your imagination? What is the kingdom of God like? To what can I compare it? Have you ever posed that question to yourself and wondered, how would you, from your lived experience, describe it? I think we all know that a life of faith, faith in the reality of God's kingdom, requires a good use of our own imagining. 
When I am readying myself to preach about eternity, about fullness of life in God, before a funeral, I challenge myself to let go of a common misperception. Heaven is all that earth is not. I think that is incorrect. This absolute break from God's creation and life here and now. We are bound for glory, for the kingdom, and are brought, our very selves, the fullness of life already begun with our conception by God and what we are and know now is by salvation made full, full of this life and more. What glorious wonder into which we grow. The image of our gospel passage oozes fullness, small to large to all-encompassing. The kingdom of God into which we and our world are growing is more than we can imagine, true enough, but our very imagining can stir us into a greater awareness and a greater willingness for us to be the kingdom builders right here, right now. If we cooperate with God's invitation, all that God is will take shape and form in greater ways here and now. So let us pray. As we strive to imagine more, as we hope for your life to grow more fully in our lives and in our world, O oh God, we simply say our most familiar prayer. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. So be it, Lord. Amen. Trusting and believing in our God who cares, we turn and we pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. And so we pray. Lord, thank you that we are a family in Christ. Help us to share his love and legacy with everyone we encounter this week. May we lavish Christ's abounding goodness upon our families, friends, and colleagues. Thank you for choosing to use us to bring your kingdom here on earth. This we ask through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. May God's peace be with you and with your spirit. Go now in his protection and care in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. What a gift it is to be together in prayer, isn't it? All over the globe. <laughs> oh, praise God. And thank you for joining us. We'll see you tomorrow. <laughs>